The reason why we care about data quality is because we want to make sure that if we use data for decision making, that we can actually trust it. Let's illustrate this with an example. Let's say we've got data for insurance claims. Some of the things that we're going to be looking for to ensure we have quality data is completeness. Do we have any missing data there? Also validity. Does the data make sense? We shouldn't have negative claim amounts or a date that doesn't exist like December 32nd. Also, do we have uniqueness? Is there any duplicate data? Do we have consistency in formatting? Is the name in the same format and is the date the same? And also, do we have timeliness? Is the data too old for it to make sense, for it to be of quality? Now, here are some techniques as we think about trying to achieve those quality objectives that we could try to implement. So maybe we use data profiling, which is making sure we understand the data, its content, and its structure. And one way to do that is to print a sample of the data, maybe like 100 rows, review each row, and then identify and flag concerns that we see. And then what we can do is also share those issues politely with those who provide the data, because they could be unaware. Another quality technique might be data cleaning, doing things like removing duplicates or fixing inconsistencies in formatting. Also filtering out irrelevant observations. So maybe if there's data that we don't need, we filter it out. Maybe we decide to omit or ignore empty columns. There's no data there. Or handling missing values. These might be some of our cleaning techniques. We could also use data transformation is one of our data quality techniques. So we might do things like split columns where it makes sense, like a name into a first and last, or creating new fields like calculating total sales based on price and quantity, or incorporating external data, like comparing our sales to industry averages. So we use transformation as part of our quality process. We could also use data validation is one of the techniques. So doing things like accuracy checks, so validating that the data follows certain rules. So in this case, maybe there's a rule where unusually high amounts should be flagged like $200,000 for auto theft, or we're flagging negative amounts for property damage. Make sure we're flagging that for validation. We could also have completeness checks. So verifying that necessary fields have been populated. And one way to fix this issue downstream is if, if this data is being input through a form, that there's proper controls on that that certain fields that are required, that we ensure they're actually completed, and the data is in the proper format and length. Another quality technique we could use are data consistency checks. One example of that is the referential integrity check. So to illustrate this, let's say we have appointments data and patient data at a hospital. Now we wanna make sure of is that for every patient ID in the appointments table, there's actually a patient that exists over in the patient's table. We want to make sure that there's some integrity, a referential integrity in that case. There shouldn't be a patient ID in the appointments table that doesn't exist over in that patient's table. We could also use master data management as one of our quality techniques. So this is ensuring that there's one version of what we call master data. So let's say that we have data from our website, sales there, and data from our physical stores, sales over in those. And what we see is that we could have inconsistencies in customer IDs. That's a different customer, the same customer ID. We've got different product IDs for the same product and potentially different prices. We wanna make sure for some of that key data, that master data, that there's one version of that. And that's what master data management is about. So we could do is have master product data, which we use for both our website sales and our physical store sales. We've got a master product ID, a product name, description, and a common price and category. Also, we could use continuous monitoring as another quality management technique. And so what we could do is continually monitor quality of the data using reports that can alert team to issues. So maybe what we do is find some way to measure some of our objectives mentioned earlier, like completeness, timeliness, duplication, and so on. So for example, for completeness, maybe we track that 98% of records are complete in June of 2023. Or in terms of accuracy, 
5% accuracy against verified data sources. So we have some way to measure how we're doing on these metrics, how we're doing in terms of quality. It's hard to know what to fix or how to fix it if we're not carefully measuring it. And also to make sure that there's feedback loops, that as we see issues or concerns, that we're sharing those, especially with those who are providing the data.